Hi there. Now in this question, we're given that an arithmetic progression has first term log in base 2 of 27. And a common difference of log in base 2 of x. And what we've got to do in the first part is show that the fourth term can be written as the log in base 2 of 27x cubed. And in the second part, given that the fourth term is 6, find the exact value of x. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, in the first part, we're told that we're dealing with an arithmetic progression and we've got to find the fourth term. Now, you should be familiar with the nth term of an arithmetic progression, un. It's equal to the first term, a, plus the number of terms, n, minus 1, times the common difference, d. So, therefore, in this question, the fourth term, u4, is going to be equal to the first term, which we're given here is the log in base 2 of 27. And then it's plus n minus 1. Well, n is 4, so that's going to be 3 times the common difference, d. And the common difference is the log in base 2 of x. Now, what I'm going to do next, before we can use the addition rule for logs, we've got this 3 in the way. So I need to change this by using the power rule for logs. Keep the first term the same, the log in base 2 of 27. But when you've got a number in the front here, we can bring it up as a power in here, a rule that you should be familiar with. OK, you can always check out my videos, tutorials on logs, if you're unsure of these rules. OK, so what we've got here is the log in base 2 of x cubed. Now that we've got one log plus another log in the same base, then again, you should be familiar with the fact that what we can do is join these together, log in base 2 of 27 multiplied by x cubed. Okay, we'll put that in brackets so it looks exactly the same as what we had to show here. Okay, so that's the first part. Now, in the second part, okay, we're given that the fourth term is 6. Find the exact value of x. So let's just put down here that given that u4 equals 6. That means that we can take this term here and equate it to 6. So therefore we've got the log in base 2 of 27x cubed must be equal to 6. And if we anti-log this, get rid of the log in base 2, we should be familiar with the fact that this value here, 27x cubed, must be equal to the base, which is 2, raised to this power, 6. Now, that means that if I divide both sides by 27, I've got x cubed. x cubed equals 2 to the power 6 divided by 27. Now, you could work this out on a calculator, but I just want to show you how easy it is to do without a calculator. Because to get x, all we need to do is take the cube root of what we've got here. So we'll just write that as a cube root. Okay, Cube root then of 2 to the power 6 over 27. And we should be familiar with cube rooting the top and the bottom. Okay, So what's the cube root of 2 to the 6? Well, it's 2 to the power 2. So, therefore, what we have is x equals 2 to the power 2. And the cube root of 27 is 3. OK, so we've got 2 squared over 3. In other words, 4 thirds. OK, so, therefore, x equals 4 thirds.